With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Kansas City Royals and the Philadelphia Phillies. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Aroldis Chapman, the Cuban-born southpaw, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, the way he's been throwing this year, definitely in the running for the Cy Young Award. You talk to people in baseball circles, they're mentioning his name among the leaders for this award. I can't wait to watch him throw in this one. Into the seats, 0-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Batting third. Orlando Cepeda gets his first Orlando shot now, Cepeda. and he's working on a modest five-game hitting streak. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh Eric, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they have not been playing all that well, to put it charitably, as they come into this one losers of seven straight games. When you're looking at trying to get out of a funk like this, it always helps when you can hand the ball over to a veteran starter that's been through this before. And luckily for them, they're going to be able to do that here. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. And that misses two and two. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Hit hard on the ground a second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Well, that base hit is going to get his hit streak to six games now, so he's swinging it. A.J. Pollock is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And no throw, as it turns out, as he takes second with ease. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Already hitting 98 miles an hour here in the first inning. He's one of the hardest throwers that these guys will see all year long. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point. Shane Green will be the starter for the Royals in this one. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, he's got a two-to-one strikeout-to-walk ratio, so he's throwing the ball pretty well. We'll see how that translates into this one. Ripken is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting second. Left Justin Upton Justin will come forward now Upton. as we give you a look at his home and away splits so far this year. Very weakly on the ground. In time to first and there are two away. Joey Votto will dig in for the first time now. One home run shy of 30 on the year so far. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there and the inning is over. Phillies turned away their first time around. On to inning number two from Citizens Bank Park. No score. Cal Ripken is set to stand in. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a hit in recent action. Chapman's ready. First pitch on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And, and he three. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. 
Batting six. Howie Kendrick will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. In there, a base hit. Will Myers will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. Good bike to the slider, and he takes strike one. High pop-up. Nunez has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Chase Headley set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to get. Oh, he got away with a changeup there. Three and one now. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Skied into straightaway right. Rosales over to his right. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Royals leave one. Kyle Schwarber. Will stand in for the first Leading time now. Billings. 24 home runs Catcher. to his credit so far this Kyle year. Schwarber. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Batting Michael Franco Batting. will stand in. Batting. And as you take a look at the splits Batting. there, he's actually a better hitter against right handed pitching this season. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back at strike two. These Royals Eric Karros entering play here this afternoon. They're on a nice little run. Winners of four of their last five ball games. And they got both the series and the road trip off to a good start with the win yesterday. So they'll be aiming to keep it going here. Chris Bryant is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Uh, especially starting off an at-bat. Pollock is in his tracks now, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. The city's founder, William Penn, seen there at Top City Hall here in Philadelphia as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. Chapman has the target. Here's the first pitch. Miguel Montero is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. That's by him for strike one. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Evan Gaddis will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. Fouled back. Third inning, no score to this point. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and that's almost a carbon copy of that last fastball, and he buried both of those pitches right on the inside corner. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Up next for the Royals. Jason Hayward right in now. Hopped Jason out in his first trip. Hayward. Little dribbler down the line. That rolls foul for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive. Still 0-2. And another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Now a solo shot that time off the bat of Jason Hayward. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. 
Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Squared that one up just a little late. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ground ball right side. Taken in by Votto, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Patrick Rosales will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. Here's the 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 24 home runs for him on the season, and it brings the Phillies back even now with one apiece. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Hayward is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Anthony Goes will stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games as hot as they come. Into the windup and the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. High and deep to right center field. Hayward looks up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season, and it's given the Phils a 2-1 to one lead. Justin Upton stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on the A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Leading off the inning, A.J. Pollard, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Yeah. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Grounded to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The batter, number eight. Into the box, Cal Ripken. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Striding into the box, Howie Kendrick. He reached on a single in his first try. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Ghost is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Will Myers in now, hopped out in his first trip. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Joey Votto is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power.
looped out towards short. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Kyle Schwarber in now, hopped out in his first trip. Yeah, he just uppercut a fastball. That top hand kind of dragged through the zone, which caused the bat head to drop a little bit. This one's flared toward left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Michael Franco to stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. Chopped foul right at home plate at strike one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a liner, but foul. A swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Digging in, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at bat. And the first pitch here is below the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0 1. And boy, they're yep. really okay. giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. When you're in a key spot like this, you can't allow yourself to get tied up that badly. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. On the ground to the left side. Kendrick on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the. Chase Headley heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Smoke toward third. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Miguel Montero is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Evan Gaddis. Will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And he misses with it. One and one. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Swing and a liner, but foul. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Chapman sets and delivers. Another one sent foul. Got him. Jason Hayward steps in, working on a one for two game so far. And that's in there, base hit. So striding in, Orlando Cepeda, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Scorched to third. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Royals strand a pair. They still trail it here. Two Patrick Rosales comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Patrick Rosales. Fouled back. The windup and the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. 
Kendrick's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting. Eduardo Nunez is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. 0 oh, and 1 again, and he's at 100% on first pitch strikes now in the middle innings of this one. No wonder he's pitched so well. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And Kendrick squeezes it for out number two. Now batting. Now in the center box, fielder. Anthony Ghost. He got on top Go. of one and was a ground out victim last time. Nope. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. And an easy play out there for Headley, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in... A.J. Pollard will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Sean Gilmartin will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. A.J. Pollard is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. Cal Ripken will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And he gets ahead with the curveball. Strike one. And there's ball one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Grounded down the third baseline. Franco has it. One there. On Devato, a double play. Up next for the Royals. Howie Kendrick Second will dig in line. now. A single Howie and a fly out Kendrick. for him in two trips thus far. Hey. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Heading out towards shallow right. Rosales giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jackie Robinson will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pollard is under this one. One pitch, one away. The left fielder, number eight. Justin Upton will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yep, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. See if he can put those other ABs behind him. Gaddis is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. First baseman number 19, Joey Votto, will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. Yeah, and he made just a little adjustment last time coming off of that pop-up the first time around, and he got himself a base knock. That's what the good ones do. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Pollock is under it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Leading off the inning, Will Myers. The and Royals. they'll need him to get something going here. Oh, first pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Chase Headley will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. One run, seven hits. 
And no errors so far for the Royals. One ball, one Swing and a miss for strike one. Hit on the ground to short. On to first, and Headley's retired here, two away. Miguel Montero stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. In there, strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Goes is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. KC down in order. Kyle Schwarber steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Oh, that's what you call getting in tight with fastball. Hit to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Michael Franco ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. It was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run. So I'm sure he's going to be thinking about that missed opportunity for a little while. The 0 1 pitch. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Way outside. One and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great record. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Chris Bryant. Will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to short. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Patrick Rosales is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. Back up the middle, and that'll get through. It's in the center, a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Now here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Jason Orlowski will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Shot toward right center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. One run scores. And he is in there. Anthony Ghost will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. Well, on the bright side, I guess, he is putting the ball in play. He's just not getting that solid contact that you're looking for when a guy... In to score is the runner from third, and that will stretch the lead to four now. Jackie Robinson will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Kendrick. He's safe. Justin Upton gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Skied into very shallow right. Hayward waits on it. And that retires the side. Evan Gaddis will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. 
Jason Hayward. We'll stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Upton going back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Orlando Cepeda gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Stepping in, A.J. Pollock. He singled his last time up. Chop foul right at home plate. A one count. Here's the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory. Alex Colome is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Alex Joey Votto will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Sliced hard on the ground, and this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. Wow. You've got the guy in the hole, 0 and 2. He's forced to protect the outer edges, but he doesn't have to worry about protecting against a pitch like this. Look where it is. That's a big mistake in location there, leading off an inning. Kyle Schwarber is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. Oh, that is such a good pitch. First pitch changeup, when you know a guy's a first pitch fastball guy, just use his aggressiveness against him. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit hard back up the middle. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Third baseman. Michael Franco will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Pollard has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Chris Bryant digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now oh high deep that is a moonshot folks a long home run So a three-run blast to straightaway left, number 14 on the season, as this is now a seven-run ball game. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoked. Standing in now, Eduardo Nunez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. And the runner back oh, easily. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. 
Hayward has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Anthony Goes steps in after hitting an RBI single his last time around. Here comes the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Gaddis. And that's the third out. Cal Ripken will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average. So you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Howie Kendrick comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1-1. One one. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot there for Howie Kendrick. Sixth home run on the season for him. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Now this one's crushed. Left field line. Upton is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Up next for the Royal. Chase Headley gets another crack right Chase. here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. That ball was so deep in his kitchen, that was the only thing he could do was foul it off, break his bat. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And this will wind up being the kind of save that you used to see back in the 70s. He gave him all he had out of that bullpen, and he winds up finishing this one off himself. 